he was a jokester. He was loved by so many people. I was just blessed to have had him in my life for the time that I did. It's been almost nine months since Karen Wells lost her 15 year old son, Ian, when he was shot at a convenience store on Alston Avenue in Durham. I honestly don't think that that's a call that no parent wants to receive. According to warrants, her son had gone to meet up with some other juveniles to buy a magazine for his gun. That's when they attempted to steal his weapon and he was shot and killed. His mother says she didn't know he had gone to purchase a clip for a gun. That hurt to know that I did not know, you know, he was doing that. And until the appropriate people are held accountable, whether it's legislature, parents, we, we as a community have to do better. And that includes myself. It's been a rough year in Durham, as five juveniles have been shot and killed so far this year up from four last year. The latest data from police through November shows that 25 juveniles have been shot in Durham. But since November, seven more juveniles have been shot. In at least two shooting incidents this year, stray bullets struck two innocent children while they were sleeping in their beds. Other shootings involving juveniles are still unsolved, like when five juveniles were shot while riding in a stolen SUV two weeks ago. Two teenagers died, including 15 year old Ariana Cotton. It's too many broken hearted parents. That should not be the norm. There needs to be programs in place um, to prevent. Preventative measures is the key. In Durham, Crystal Price, CBS 17 News.